and welcome to Hardware Heaven. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Razer League of Legends merchandise in the form of a Razer Naga Hex and a Goliathus Speed mouse pad. So let's get right into today's review. by taking a quick look around the box. We're going to take a little bit more time looking at this than we normally would, simply because as you can see here, it is a collector's edition. So we've got a picture of the League of Legends Naga Hex mouse here. As you can see, it lists that we get a free Trindamir activation code. Trindamir is one of the champions in League of Legends, if you didn't know. It's optimised for MOBA action RPG games. It's got high performance buttons and 250 clicks per minute. And it also uses Razer Synapse 2.0. As you can see on the side here, it's got six MOBA action RPG optimised mechanical thumb buttons. Much like the Razer Naga has 12 mechanical thumb buttons, these are still mechanical but there's only six of them. We've then got high performance buttons, as we said, 250 clicks per minute. And then it lists some more information regarding Synapse 2.0. On the back of the box, we can see information regarding the scroll wheel, which has 24 individual click positions. It's got seven foot light weighted braided fiber cable. We've already talked about the buttons. It's a gold plated USB connector. Then on the opposite side, it talks about the different modes that you can have. You can either have the typical one to six configuration, or you can have the num mode configuration, which you can switch between. It then talks about the ergonomic design, the laser sensor, the programmable buttons, the ultra polling, on the fly sensitivity, and ultra slick mouse feet. On the top here, we can see a nice picture of Misfortune. On the inside, we've got some awesome art from Trindamir as well. So let's see what we get inside the box. So as always, we've got our handy little razor pack here. If we take all of this out, we've got some interchangeable grips here that you actually put in the middle of the six buttons. Now there's a smaller one and a larger one dependent on how big you want that to be. So you can change those to grip those in the middle, which is awesome that you've got that customizability. We've then just got a nice picture here, basically hyping up the mouse as Razor always do. You've got your information regarding the cult of Razor, how to set up Synapse 2.0. I'm not gonna show you the other side because that is the code, but here, We've got the League of Legends Unlock Trindamir code, which is awesome. The champions normally cost, if I can remember rightly, they cost about 900 RP, which is something like five pounds. So it's about five pounds for champions. That's nice, you just get that included. We've then got the Quick Start Guide and the Master Guide, which will have everything that you're gonna want to need to know about the mouse. And as always, we've got the three-headed snake razor stickers. And here we've got the mouse itself. Now let's look at the notable features. We've got yellow accents on the League of Legends logo on the back, where normally the razor logo would be, as well as on the side of the scroll wheel. And then we've actually got the black buttons with yellow numbers in the middle, which actually go. All of these features glow yellow, which you can change in the drivers. If you do want some detailed information regarding the Synapse 2.0 drivers, then go to the previous video where I checked out the Razer 2014 Naga. I'm not going to go through them all again because they are exactly the same, so go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. But you can change the how which ones glow for you. So you can even have all of them glowing, the three light sources, or you can swap in between. The braided cable, as always, is absolutely great. The buttons work really well. If you play a lot of Dota 2 or League of Legends, this is the mouse you want. I really like the fact that you can rest your thumb in the middle here and you can easily access all of these buttons. They're nice and big, they're bouncy, they're mechanical and they feel absolutely great. The ergonomic design on the mouse is awesome. It's gone with the same design as all of the other Nagas, the 2012 and the original Nagas. The finish is just how I like it. 
It's the same as before, except the mouse feet are going with the 2012 Naga design. We've got the five positions here, which are awesome. You then switch between whether you want one, two, three, or numb along the bottom on the switch, which the 2014 Naga doesn't actually have, which is awesome. And then with it here, I've actually got the Goliathus mouse pad, which is designed for speed, which is perfect if you want quick reactions in a MOBA game. If you're wanting something specifically to play League of Legends with, then this is perfect. The mouse is perfect for the job and the mouse mat gives the high precision speed, but control, and it looks absolutely great. It looks awesome. With the glowing yellow on the sides and the bottom of the mouse and the yellow along the mouse pad, it's designed absolutely great and it looks awesome on any desk. I really love the fact that you can really configure how sensitive the mouse is. You can change the buttons, they're customizable and macroable. You can really customize it to how you need. The only thing I'd say is I wish it had the interchangeable size so that you can change the size of the mouse because that's something that will help people with bigger or smaller size hands than the average. Apart from that, I give this mouse an absolute gold because it's fantastic. I never thought I'd really like using a hex, I'd never used one until now, but it is really great and I definitely recommend getting it if you love playing MOBAs. Thanks so much for watching, remember to check out the previous Naga 2014 video and we'll see you next time. Bye!